guys, welcome back to Scott Family Homestead. Last week I did a video about setting up our incubator and here it is, it's doing great. We've maintained the temperature and humidity and we are now on day 10. So incubating eggs takes 21 days. I will link my original video that talks all about incubating eggs. So if you're at all curious, go watch that one first and then come back and see how we are candling our eggs to see if they are developing. Now in order to do this, I'm going to have to turn the lights out, so I'm hoping this will video well. I'm going to go ahead and take notes on all these eggs so that we know what to expect come hatching time. I'm also going to show the variety in colors and how that can affect how well you can candle your eggs and what you can see. You don't want to open this for very long and you don't want to open it often. So this actually hasn't been opened since we put the eggs inside. Um, it's tempting sometimes to candle them often. I've used my best restraint and saved this till day 10 because that's when we're going to get the best picture of it. And we'll candle again on day 18 right before we lock down our incubator for its final hatch. This incubator has a candling light right on it here, which we can turn the button on. Um, I also have a large flashlight that I'm going to give a try to because it might be easier to see on the camera. Circle. So we're going to be very gentle with these eggs. I'm going to set this on here and see what we can see. This one you can see it moving in there. Do you see that? So this one is developing. You can actually see a chicken in there. Yeah? Yeah. That's wild. This is a nice light colored egg, so it's very easy to see. Go ahead and put that one back. That one is number six. When you do this, you're going to see the air sac on the larger end of your egg. That's what that light color is. And then in this one, you can see there's a chicken developing. And there might be a distinct dark spot where the eye will develop. You can see that right on that one. So here's a darker colored egg, so it's going to take a little bit more to see. You can also see some movement in that one as well. There's another kind of bluish green one. Yeah, see that one you can't see. This one's one of the green ones that we're not getting any light to go through the shell. That one's just going to be kind of a guess. That's fifteen. That looks unfertilized to me. A dark spot where a yolk would be, but there's no movement, and there's no veining. There's no line where it quit growing. We'll pull it out on day 18 if it shows the same. So we went ahead and took notes on all 22 of our eggs. We had seven that were too dark to see into the egg um, with either of our flashlights. This one worked just as good as the individual flashlight. Um, I do really like this incubator for that reason. We had one that looked like it was unfertilized. And other than that, they all looked good and growing, and a lot of them you could see the chickens moving around in there. Um, so that's a good sign that the ones we couldn't see into will actually develop well, like the rest of them. So I could have removed the egg that looked like it was unfertilized, um, but we're not too far into it yet. Uh, the big thing is you don't want those to rot. So you're basically heating these eggs all the time to about 100 degrees. Um, if you let them go the full 21 days or beyond 21 days and they weren't fertilized, um, you can kind of have a mess in your incubator. I'm not too worried about it at this point in time, so I'd like to recheck that egg and just make sure what I'm seeing is a yolk and not a chicken. We didn't have any eggs that looked like they had quit. Uh, what you get with that, you see a little um, spider web of blood vessels, and if you candle earlier, you'll kind of see that. But then you'll also see a distinct line. Where those vessels have kind of settled into a straight line, and that generally means they've stopped growing and quit somewhere along the way. Um, that can be because of changes in temperature or humidity or something just wasn't right with the egg. But right now we're not seeing any of that, which is an excellent sign. I'm sorry that I couldn't show it to you more specifically than just describing, um, but that really is good news for our incubation here. I have in the past 
pulled out an egg that I thought had quit um, and it hadn't. And I feel really bad about that, but that was definitely a learning experience for us. So my advice if you're starting out is if you are unsure, just leave it in there and check it again in a few days or at your next scheduled candling time. Um, just give it a little bit more time and be really sure before you start pulling them out. So we will check this again on day 18. At that point, we'll lock down the incubator, we'll take the egg turner out, and we'll give it three more days, and we should start seeing some hatching. Um, so I will do update videos for both of those times, day 18 and day 21, to let you know how everything is going. Thank you for following along with our egg incubating journey. I hope you learned something today, or at least saw something really cool, because I think it's really awesome to see those chicks. So they're growing every day, and it's so much fun to watch. From our point, I have to just be sure not to keep opening this up and checking them out. We'll be back in a week with our next incubation video. Make sure you are subscribed so you get notified when that video comes up, and follow along with all of our other homestead journeys. Thank you guys for being here. We'll catch you on the next one.